going to switch gears just a little bit. We hear all the candidates talking about, I'm about job creation, jobs, jobs, jobs. Here's a specific for you. What are you planning to do to, what, how are you planning to attract new emerging technology businesses in Louisville or Kentucky as a whole? The next Google or Facebook here, the entrepreneurial sector of Louisville, is weak compared to that of other areas. How do you attract, and I'll just cut right to the chase, good paying, highly educated, white collar jobs so our children who are graduating from UK and U of L have a place to work when they graduate? Phil, start with you. First, I'll say this, government is not in picking winners and losers in businesses. And if we go out and try to recruit specific companies only, we will most likely screw that up. The best way to grow jobs in Kentucky or anywhere else is to allow us to be a state where, they, where companies can be profitable, where, they, where government gets out of their way and allows them to prosper. And that's what happens in states like Texas. In Texas in 2008, they accounted for 71% of all the new jobs created in the United States, a single state. Now, they have a, an international border and deep water ports. We can't compete with that. But what the companies know when they relocate or they want to start a business and they do it in Texas, they know they can be profitable and they know the government's going to get out of their way. Those are the two things we have to do in Kentucky. The tech companies will come, manufacturing will come, and whatever wants to come here, let's let the free market provide. What I will do is have a strong outborn sales force that is going to go out to companies and tell them why Kentucky is the place they can be profitable and why we will allow them to prosper along with Kentuckians. Thank you. I would agree that that's also true that to a certain extent we, we just can't pick winners and losers and no, no amount of recruiting is going to bring in the next great uh, interesting uh, business or, or the Google or Microsoft or whoever. Most of those companies, whether they're here or somewhere else, get started because the people who are the, the brilliant people who found these businesses already live there. I mean, Microsoft is in Seattle because that's where Bill Gates is from. It's not because somebody recruited him to there because of their, ta their great tax situation, although they, they don't have a state income tax. And, he and his father, we may remember, stupidly tried to get rid of, or tried to impose the state income tax on, on Washington State. We'd be smart to emulate uh, these nine states that don't have state income taxes, states like Texas and South Dakota that are very good at bringing in businesses, they have a good tax situation. But I think, I think Phil, Phil and even David Williams is kind of on, on board to a certain extent with that. But the, the second thing is to remember is, whether you know, we don't want to pick winners and losers, but we also have responsibility with our state institutions like our state universities, these are the great research universities, we hope, of Kentucky and Louisville and to a certain extent the regional universities. They have a tremendous, they can play a tremendous role if they do their job right. If they're bringing in research projects and research teams and getting grant money for hopefully useful, useful research, it's going to lead to entrepreneurs clustering and coming in and working and, and hopefully start helping to found new businesses or they're going to waste their time on ethnic studies or whatever, you know, grievance studies or whatever they are, if they want to grant for that, that's obviously not going to lead very well. So I think the governor of the legislature really ought to be looking at what, what it is we spend all the money on in higher education for these research projects and these grants and these, these campuses that have all these buildings, and are we really getting our money's worth out of them? Are we training people in Kentucky to take really good jobs and have really good careers, and are we bringing in the types of research at our state universities that are, going to, are hopefully going to lead to something economically, or are we just kind of wasting everybody's time with, with kind of meaningless, um, you know, me too government, do nothing uh, operations. That's something we really need to look at closely. That's something that's kind of off the radar screen. That's something I think in the future we're going to have to look at. Thank you.